unstoppable Zerg that we've had so far in Pro League. He's Roro, 8 and 2. He's only played two games against Terran. Uh, like we said before, he's the Protoss killer. He's incredibly strong against Protoss. This is a different matchup. Uh, yeah. Everybody's pulling for this guy, except me. Uh, yeah, except you, man. <laughs> uh, one and one against Terran. I think he's only dropped one. Uh, I think he's only dropped one map to either Protoss or Zerg. So he's, yeah, he's eight and two. He's just insanely good. One of our best players we've had in Pro League. That's why he's towards the top. If he wins, he will actually tie uh, for nine wins. And Marine King is one and one against Zerg. He won against Sue. Drawing a blank on who he lost to uh, in the ace match, but I think it was Sulky. He's two and three overall in Pro League. He did not play a televised match in StarCraft 1. Um, something interesting fact for you guys, Marine King did play StarCraft 1 at a high level and was actually a Protoss player. He went by Claire most of the time. It was the ID he used. Well, the map is Polar Knight. Let's find out if Marine King can pull up an upset or if Samsung is going to take the lead. Up here in the north, in the pink for Samsung Galaxy Khan, the unstoppable Zerg player. It is Roro. There he is. There he is. We found you. No hide. Now to the bottom of the map in purple. It's the king of Marines. Very emotional player. A lot of gifs coming out recently of his uh, defeats how he reacts to them. Now, knowing Marine King, there are basically two types of openings. Marine King is 3-1 against Roro in StarCraft 2, actually. Oh, that's something you didn't know. I feel like those were from, uh, well, in Heart of the Storm, he is actually had 1-0. I was actually going to say those are probably all from Wings of Liberty, but uh, Marine King does take one game against Roro. Very interesting. Now, what I was going to mention before is Marine King basically has two openings in this matchup. Two barracks, 11-11 proxy, and command center first. Take your pick. Finland Hearts SC2 Wombo Combo. Need for more overlords. Much better than Need for Speed. From, from France, France. Nom Nom Baguette. Yeah, Nom Nom Baguette. There's a pre-baguette. Is that Luigi? I don't know. <laughs> but I do know there's a pre-baguette upstairs. Yeah, you if guys you, can get baguettes. If you want to get baguettes. some baguettes, just go right upstairs. You could go get them right now, actually, in fact, if you were so inclined. <laughs> Don't do that, though, because we'll miss this match. Wait until our next commercial break. Now, Marine King has actually taken the third branch, um, which is, you know, I made a joke earlier saying that he only CC first or two barracks proxies, but he has evolved a lot as a player since he's come back from uh, Summoner's Rift, and he is going for, looks to be a Reaper expand here to get some scouting information. And uh, he's just going to be playing more standard Heart of the Swarm style. I, you said Summoner's Rift, and I was like, what? what is that? What are you talking about? And I was <laughs> like, oh. oh, yeah, that's the name of the map in League of Legends. Of course, he did take a break from StarCraft II to go try his hand at League of Leg Legends, but he is back. He's back. Back at his home, all one nice of, and warm. One of many players to have attempted to have you know, changed sides, come back with stories, uh, notably Puzzle, Coca, Marine King, uh, SC, a uh, famous player from Foyu, had lung problems. Did uh, switch over for a time, all of them switching back. I don't know what's become a puzzle. He may have retired. There's so many players retiring recently, it's hard for me to keep track, but I think he, I mean, he was playing for KT Rolster in his last active. Uh, Coca recently retired as well from Jin Air, announced that. And uh, Marine King, though, he's holding strong here. His command center will be scouted. Drops that factory. I wonder what he's going to do here. First, he's going to force a spore to be canceled. Maybe even two? Oh, gets it. Gets the drone, and he's going to get out alive. Those, oh, <laughs> two extra zerglings coming here, but not going to chase after this guy, especially off creep. He's going to start microing against that. Yeah, actually might get us early to here. If a Reaper gets any kills, usually it's due to the mistake of uh, the Zerg player. Uh, but in this case, I think it's 
mostly the Marine King's micro and confidence with his Reapers here, even fighting against this Queen now. Yeah, that's one of Marine King's, you know, probably his biggest strong point is micro. Uh, that's why he was named the Marine, the King of Marines, you know, just able to micro to do a bunch of timing attacks with Marines that just kill opponents straight out just due to his micro. And uh, showing it again, just showing it off to us, giving us a nice show. Um, you know, history lesson. Um, all of you guys who did not follow StarCraft 2, Korean StarCraft 2 from the beginning, you have homework. Go look up Boxer versus Kyrix. Watch that series. You will not be disappointed. Um, watch a Marine King become the King of Marines. That was his transfer moment. That, that was his moment. Think, think Banelings versus Marines only for the entire game, and the Marines do not have combat shields. Watch that series. You will be amazed. I remember that game. Sick game. Now these Zerlings actually are going to have speed, and they're going to be able to pick off this SCV, I think. That SCV is not long for this world. Well, the Hellions might oh. save him. Nicely done. Hero Hellions and Reapers coming in. SCV didn't even, like, sweat. He just was like, what? <laughs> He's oh, like, okay. I have a job to do. <laughs> I got to mine these, mer these minerals. Yeah, in the face of harassment, workers don't get scared. Yeah, we are actually going to have... Factory moved here. Double barracks being added. Stem added as well here. Marine King not, not mechin it. We've seen Marine King go for, you know, Marine mech compositions where he's going almost completely Marines, um, and then with Thors and siege tanks. We've seen this actually a lot from him in his more, you know, successful days in Korea. Yeah. He's going to drop down two EBs. Uh, this Overlord is going to come in here and see everything at the cost of his life. But he is going to see those three barracks as well as that factory getting that uh, extra add-on dunk reactor. Small price to pay. Overlord losing his life. Oh, almost the second one goes down. Second one not long for this world once the Viking pops out a little bit. It's no. funny how the Overlords look like they take no damage ex until they just explode into a million pieces. Yeah. <laughs> this is a video game, but they yeah. should get a bleeding animation. That would be pretty cool. I'd like that. Well, the hatcheries do have it. And the buildings, actually. I miss the burning Protoss buildings uh, you had in StarCraft 1. They would like, burn blue fire when they were taking damage. Well, this ragtag group of Hellions and Reapers is not enough to really get a whole lot done. Uh, back at home, it looks like the factory was producing add-ons, so he's cut his Hellion production pretty early. This gives him a little bit of extra minerals, which means that he can, uh, you know, get his Marine count up much faster, as you see right now. And he starts combat shields. He's poking here a little bit. He's trying to keep that, uh, you know, those tumors down. Yeah, does get one tumor, as well as taking his own third base at the same time. He has this uh, little ragtag group of Marines also coming across the map. These two ragtag groups might join up into one big group of ragtag. Ragtag, man. That's like when you play tag with a rag. Ragtag? You just, like, smack each other with rags instead of actually touching each other? That's what it's going to be like in my family one day when <laughs> I play ragtag. Just, like, create really strange games for your kids. <laughs> they don't right. understand why you're playing. Well, here we go. He's losing a queen. He's going to engage here in the drones. Uh, and with no banelings here, this is a pretty solid attack for Marine King. Brendan is the oracle. And here comes the attack. Stim is done. Way too many Marines. And he's chasing down the overlords. One goes down, two will fall. Looks like he's gonna go for the hatchery instead. One Marauder joins the fight, and with no, nothing but Zerglings here against one one Marines with Stim and Combat Shields now. And Widow Mines on the way, Marauders on the way as well. Armory started, takes down the third base, has his own third base. Marine King, the King of Marines again. Just an unexpected timing coming across. Roro was not ready for it and uh, really threw a hatchet into the plan of Roro now. A hatchet, man. That's even what he threw. Not even a ratchet, but a hatchet. Yes. Well, he's trying to cut that plan with that hatchet. He's going to even target down Banelings now with his Hellions. Nicely done here. If he can eliminate the Banelings, he can actually just fight this. Banelings' speed is not done, which is why he's able to continue to fight like this. 
spreading his units pretty well here. Uh-oh, Roro. Things looking a little bit dire here. He loses all of his Banelings. And what? Suddenly, Marine King pushing down to finish the game. Dances the Marines. And Prime will take the lead here, it appears. Roro is defeated. Evolution Chambers will fall, so will Overlords. GG, Marine King takes the win with a solid timing. Marine King, I can't believe he actually did it, is able to take out the huge force of Roro. What a timing, just coming across the map. Roro was just not ready for it, and Marine King showing us why he can just take games off of huge players. He's definitely so, so happy. Look at his face. No longer as depressive as we saw in those gifts. You are 100% with your predictions, aren't you? So far today, yeah. Very solid. Very <laughs> nicely done, Brendan. Uh, this is this is a, a big upset, you know. Now, the only upset that could be bigger.